Hi, it's Mr. Tent, and you're looking at a vintage Base Camp 6 by REI. I say vintage because it's blue instead of the latest green color. The rainfly material feels just a little bit thinner, very good quality. The thing is brand new. I think it was in a storage locker for a while. Um, but, so it's a little older tent, but I don't think it's been used but once or twice, maybe. I'm getting ready to finish uh, stringing it, and then we'll lift. We have already stuck a pole across this crossbar. I'm finishing up on this one. The uh, base camp, this one has full tubes. That means that it doesn't use clips or hooks. It just has long pole sleeves. So I'm having to run it all the way through. I'm almost out. What I want to do is I want to get just to the end there. Uh -oh and stop and I'm going to stick it in at those corners. As you can see over here in the corner, I'm stringing my pole as I go. Some people uh, would like to string the whole pole out, but I, I find it useful just to string the pole as I go. It helps me make sure that each connector is all the way in. If you have it out by half an inch, that's a weak spot. You can break your uh, break the pole. Now, I've already got them pegged in here, and it uses grommet, so I'm just going to slip this into, the, into a grommet, like so, and this one over here, at this point, we're ready to lift, so I'm going to ask Darlene, I'm going to go in and ask Darlene to help me with the lift, and we'll fire up this beautiful base camp six. Okay, Darlene's here. We're going to do what I call an REI standard lift. We're just going to push the poles. We've got it anchored at that end. We're going to push the poles up to form the tent. So here we go. Darlene, how are you doing? Okay. How are you feeling? Okay. I'm going to lift up here and then just push the poles. Up she goes. You don't rush. Just take your time. And I usually anchor it here while we're in there, about in the middle drama. In the middle? Uh, no, just the, you know, the uh, I don't know. Okay. Middle drama if you can. <coughs> We've got three grommets on this tent. And that's the basis of the tent. It's an REI 6. And the floor looks beautiful. Or separately. We forgot the bracer poles. Pop that guy loose. Here we go. Here's another difference. I believe newer tents have a sleeve here. This one has clips. So we're going to take this pole all the way down to the bottom first, and then we're going to clip it in. Tell me when you're ready, Darlene. Okay. See these clips that come along here? We're following it all the way along the bottom to the outer outer cliff. Okay, it's in. Okay, it's in. This helps form the the tent. Ooh. These are the bracer poles. <laughs> we won't put them all in. Instead, we'll go do the next one. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> take yours down and tell me when. Yeah. Okay, now I take mine down also in. This big clicker goes to the middle here like so. If I can get in there. Like that. And then we continue clicking in. REI usually says go from top to bottom. Looking good, looking good. The rain fly is off this base camp six and we're going to do our final walk around. Here she is, ready. All fabric, all around. And we'll just walk straight in. I've got the triangular vent opened up so that you can see this is the only mesh in the tent, except for the doors. We'll turn around. We're heading out the back. Now I'm turning around. And now I'm backing out the second door. 
here we go all in all a very beautiful tent four season tent I got measurements it is 125 by 99 at the base that translates out to um, hmm, 10 feet by 9 feet and it's 64 inches high so it is not quite six feet high the current uh, base camp six is R6 six feet high so it's a little short six feet high dimension wise I think you're gonna like this tent now we're ready for the vestibule I've stuck stakes over there and here so they're pre-positioned let's see what we got there's a minor vestibule and a major vestibule each of them has doors and I think this is going to be the minor vestibule because it doesn't have a pole seat so we'll throw this over uh, let's see what we are doing. Yeah. Over she goes. Want to pitch it? Yeah. One. You call it. One, two, three. Oops. Not perfect. The trick is we're trying to fit it so that it looks about right. Then we got one more pole. This little sleeve is going to form a, a bracer for the vestibule. Looks like it's a continuous sleeve, no separation anywhere. I've got two segments. Okay. Okay, do you still have a, do you have a grommet yet? Still that you can use? Okay, bring it down to your grommet and then I'll do mine. Okay. And now here's my <coughs> grommet. As long as you're here, let's go on ahead and click in right here, Darlene. The rainfly has little clickers. We won't tighten them up, but we're just clicking it in. Now I've already pre-positioned some space here, because I knew we were going to need them. Here's one. Almost. looking pretty good. Let's see if we got a good camera on it. Yes. You can see that the vestibule came into place very nicely right there. It looks really good. We're doing a couple of minor touch-ups. Such as clicking the rain fly in on the sides here. They've got clickers. Clickety click. Here's another. Carlene? Yes. Thank you very much for helping, but I think You're welcome. Carlene's not feeling well. <laughs> Have a say goodbye to the folks. Bye. <laughs> a vintage base camp six. Thank you, Darlene. Okay, I'll take a couple of close ups. Bye bye, be well. She's not feeling well, but she managed to come help with the assembly of this tent. Let's do our walk around of this tent. You can see it looks exactly like a standard base camp except that it's blue and white it's huge it has one upper vent and I did discover something about the inside of this tent it's a four season tent standard base camps today have a lot of mesh this one has a full mesh window all the way completely to the ground but it also seals completely inside let me show you inside that there is no mesh. The only mesh that I found is this triangular vent right there. And it, of course, is also sealed with fabric. Now, what is a four-season tent? It's for cold weather when you need snow loading. That means extra strength. This has bracer poles for the extra strength. And it also means, means all the uh, vents will seal up because... Um, so wind won't come in. 
Be that as it may, we're going to say goodbye to this REI Base Camp 6. From the hills and trails of Austin, Texas, the gullies and canyons of the condos of North Austin, Mr. Tent, happy trails and see you on the trail.